Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for October the 10th through the 16th, 2016. So let's just take a moment to really allow ourselves to relax and to really connect in with the intention of connecting in with the opportunities that are available to you. And they're kind of indicating that there are several opportunities that are available to you or that will be available to you to choose from. That And the angels of abundance are coming through. And they are indicating that they are here in support of you and, and helping you to to perceive the rewards in pursuing and being actively engaged with the things or involved in the things that you truly, truly love. And in doing so, this is what they would like to help you to focus upon so that you overcome any slight fears that you may have about doing just this. They really are wanting you to focus on yourself. So right now they're, they're writing very clearly to me the word you. So this is all about you right now and what you love. That's it. That's the only two um, sort of, well, those are the only choices that you have. It's about you and what you love. And just in anything that's in between there. I know that sounds a little weird, but it's a, a kind of the feeling of what they're trying to say is very important. It's, it's like a, a clear focus between you and what you love. That's basically your choice. And, and it's all for a higher purpose. And it helps you, and not only you, but it helps others. And it, and it, it expands that higher level of consciousness that you are bringing through, through your purpose. And so they really want you to just allow yourself to be present with this as your the, the clear intention for yourself in this week. And they're, they're writing that it's, it's, they wrote gusts. So there's a sense of a gust of wind as if some kind of action is going to come through sort of like a gust and kind of um, of when and it's going to change how you see things okay it's not only going to change how you see things it's going to really direct you towards that big picture but it's also going to create a path so it's going to create a path to that to that big moment the big picture that where if you see with absolute clarity and understanding and wisdom where your choices are leading you. But in particular, this choice that is centered around something that you love, okay? And it's just gonna open up a clear path. So be very um, receptive of this. They keep showing me this. For some of you, the this is feels like it's far off for you but the path is still going to open up and the path will be very clear to you um what you need to do or what you need or what you're connected with so some for some of you it just may be that you're going to discover what that connection what is that spark that the that divine love that is your purpose Will, will really come in sort of crystal clear. There's going to be um, not only a knowing in, of your connection, but there's going to be some tangible or physical um, connection, something that you can um, taste, touch, feel here, you know, with your senses. So that's going to come together and it's going to expand for you. So be really open to the forms they're writing. They're going to be forms of, of 
creative ideas or solutions. Um, you're going to see signs. Um, you're going to feel strong impulses of love. And this is what they're writing out to me. And they're holding up this big sign, but they're writing these words out. And, um, and also, they wrote, you know, they're writing here that sometimes you, 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 okay, so there are distractions here because they wrote lack friend some. So it's like sometimes some of your friends focus on the lack, you know, and they kind of distract you. And, and they don't mean to. It's just that they're not in your shoes. So don't invite other people to be, to stand in your shoes and understand what your true desires are. That's a bit too much to place on them. They can't do it for you. And they can only activate the fear because when you're calling them to, to validate, they're picking up on your fear. And it's also activating their own fear. And the only thing they're going to give you is a story or a scenario of lack. So this is not what you, you can't expect anyone else to understand what's in your heart, no matter how eloquently you're able to describe it to them. It just won't register if they are not already in this place for themselves. Do you see? So you have to choose wisely, okay? You have to choose wisely. You have to be aware of those people who are uh, in this vibrational place where you are, where they are likewise experiencing this profound connection of love be between themselves and the, what they love doing in order for them to mirror, reflect back to you. They're not standing in your shoes, but they're standing in their own powerfully and they can help you. And this may be something that happens for you in this week wherein someone randomly um, is attracted to you by the laws of attraction, bringing you together because you're both focused in a similar way and will allow each other to sort of act as boosters for your own connections within and sort of amplify each other's own, um, is a better way of saying it, each other's intention. And in doing so, create more activity around the laws of attraction that are unfolding for you and draw, that drew you together because of what has been summoned forth within you and then creating an, an even greater dynamic of activity around this, which will then begin to attract more folk, they're writing this, so this is sort of, um, more, more people uh, of like minds and they would represent those different opportunities all around this one idea, this one, one, one uh, important uh, feeling of love. And, and they're writing fun too, because what you love to do, it should be fun. So they don't want you to think that what you love is is all serious, you know, because some of you think about that, like, oh yeah, this is what I love, I'm passionate about it, and you're so serious. You know, you're so serious and you forget to have fun. And and then you you, you say, oh, what well, is this? Why is it, you know, I'm working so hard. Oh, I'm so tired. And, and, and it's because you forgot to incorporate fun. OK, so it should also be fun. Lots of fun. OK, like extra, extra. You know, just just to make sure that you really don't allow the fun to kind of drop uh, off to the into the abysmal somewhere. Keep it in your focus, they're saying. Keep this in your focus. That and, and your whole spiritual connection they're, they're they really want you to go get, excuse me. It's also supposed to be fun. Like it, it, it's not supposed to be serious, your spirituality, your connection with the universe, your intuition. The angels can be very funny. The the ascended masters can 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 be very funny. The fairies they're all funny. So don't think about your connection and your spirituality, your spiritual growth is being a serious path. This is not a good way to focus because within that seriousness, you start to, there are stems, roots of lack that will be implemented 
into this. And so therefore, those of us who have subscribed to sort of more organized spirituality, like in certain religions, where this struggle to become more connected with your, you know, with God is almost like they're martyrs or something. And let me just tell you, heaven is far from that. And even God is far from, you know, wanting you to be a martyr or, or to live your life um, in struggle for your faith. So don't take things so seriously because you take out all the fun and all the pleasure and the sustainable joy that you could possibly accrue through your, through your, um, your intention. So this is a huge piece of, they're writing the word hope on the big movie screen here, which is always the big pictures that we're going to get in this week. And I love when they kind of bring these up. So this is a week where I can already sense a lot of huge shifts. You're going to just, these moments um, are going to come together in successful moments of you understanding, seeing something different. You're going to just, a shift is going to happen in the way you see things this week. And that's really profound. So just be open to this. And and they're giving me a sense of, you know, a big luxury liner, uh, cruise liner. So that you're going to be really, um, just it's just going to be a, a huge, smooth kind of movement, this, this, this form of transportation. Um, you're going to feel like you're floating on the waves, but this is going to be a big shipment coming in. So this also reminds me of the, the tarot card for the three of wands. So this is a time to envision, okay? Put your visions out there. This is a time actually where you you have, is indicating that you have already been um, visualizing and and you've been working and things are starting to come in. Your shipment is starting to come in and now it's giving you a sense of that you the plans that you can make for yourself. So now you're going to start to feel like or start to get see ways of long-term goals. You're going to be able to sort of get a sense of what some long-term goals you want to start uh, aiming for. So this is going to be a very important week as things come in. You will feel more secure about where you're going in terms of your plans. Okay, so they really want you to be the writing look, and they want you to really kind of be on the lookout. Um, and in particular, that the things that will come through your intuition, they they're, they're just giving me a sense. They're showing me the tree, and they're showing me the branches part, and it's just waving out, and the connection is becoming transparent. Actually, the the the, the trunk of the tree. And it's all like moving uh, energy. So there's something, some huge growth is going to occur. First of all, transparency is going to happen. That within your connection between you and your higher self, you and your purpose, you and what you love, you and those you love, you know, or the way that you love and the way that you are being loved. So that something about the fear factor um, is going to is going to somehow transform. And it just wrote the word fool, like is the in the fool card. And so that sense gives me that you are going to feel liberated, right? That you're going to be getting all these new impulses from the universe. And it's, with this, and it's going to be so transparent that maybe you will start um, leaping, you know, taking a leap of faith in, into your dreams. That, where you'll be, I, the thing is, is that, that fear transformation is that you're going to feel less um, fearful. So you're going to uh, really start to maybe take some fearless actions on your on your divine guidance. Your intuition is going to be uh, clearer. They were writing the word in my meditation here. So you may actually have some clear audient experiences as well this week where you're really hearing your uh, messages and that hearing can happen not like almost like you hear outside your ear but it could almost be like you hear it inside your head you hear the words or you sense them so clearly or the ideas you sense or hear them very clearly like thoughts that you but it's just you kind of hear them um, a little bit stronger 
not like my voice, but sort of like um, the, you can't ignore them. Even if you're thinking about something else, they will almost seem to interrupt your even thought patterns and your 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 tongue, your vocal cords, and your tongue will form the words that you're hearing instead of the words you were thinking. That's happened to me a lot. And sometimes when it keeps happening, I realize, stop trying to resist this. This is what they're trying to say. So just be open to this. A very powerful week they're showing me. Powerful week of manifestation for you. So um, look forward to the good. Look forward. Think about that for a moment. Look forward. Meaning expect. Expect good things to happen. If you especially if you're one of those people who doesn't, then then look forward to the future. Look forward to the present moment. Look forward to what you can, what's available to you for you to take, to take opportunities to explore, for to expand your own inner being's happiness and let it flow into the world of your reality. Let it become a part of your experience. Find ways to express it for yourself. Well, let's take a look at the card for the theme of the week, the Archangels. And this is so appropriate. Um, gifts from God. And this is the Archangel Sandophone. So this, as I'm feeling this connection with that shipment coming in, and Archangel Sandophone who delivers prayers to God, and he's also the um, Archangel who is... Um, works with music and artists and and music therapy in terms of healing with music. So this is this is really confirming that that prayers that are being answered or have been answered, and now we need to look out for those prayers. But don't stand around like don't 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 uh, you know say I'm taking the day off so I can look around for my my opportunities because there's never um the universe never takes any time off and and orchestrating anything for you. The laws of attraction are always in motion. And so therefore you must be in motion about what it is that you are doing and what you love doing and make those choices about that are harmonious for you so that you can meet the opportunities that have been orchestrated within your own intention. So don't just when we say look forward, meaning just have that expectation. It's, it's a sense in the heart, okay? But the card says, we angels bring you gifts from the creator. Open your arms to receive. So this is a week for you to receive. And whenever God appears to me in a vision, when he writes his name, I know that what he's saying is he's present <laughs> and that it's already handled, so this is a week where you need to trust that everything that you need has been handled, that your your greatest desire, the thing that's sitting right at the surface, has been already known by the creator and perceived and worked on, it has perceived a plan. And now that plan is coming into fruition and you get to be the the discoverer of this and be uh, and witness how and so all you have to do is have courage to accept what is offered to you and trust that even though it may not look the way you want it to look but it's leading where you need it to go so that you can have the experience of that or something far better than you could have desired. Less, no. But if we get into it with our doubts, then we dim the lights and it's there, but it's like we can't see it. And then we believe that we can't see. We believe we're blind and say that there's nothing going on. But you're, but you're not blind. It's just that you, you created this inner darkness because your doubts, your fears, and and God's gifts cannot reside in the same frequency. It's like one has the other has to have the lights on or the lights off. You know, it's you can't be tuned in at the same time, experiencing both at the same time. So don't lock yourself out. Okay, all right. Let me just. Um, 
take a look at the cards now for the beginning of the week. All right, so we have the High Priestess here. And for the beginning of the week, and the card says, trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. So when the High Priestess comes up, this is about you just really being in tune with your inner guidance. And you don't have to just sit around and meditate, but although meditation is good, to, I do it every day, um, to, because what it does is that it practices the awareness we need to have when we're also being active, because we can't always be inactive. So it's very important for you to have this practice so that in a moment, you, when you're doing things, because there are things that you automatically are tuned in and you're with your connecting with your inner being, like when you're, when you're talent, the things that you're really good at, you slip into that automatically, yet you're still doing, but you're listening. It's your, your, you're being informed through your guidance. And that's what makes it special when others kind of reflect and look at what you're doing. So the thing, the idea is in this week to to do, to be mindful. So uh, as you are, um, to be mindful of the guidance that comes through as you are interacting or carrying out any task or actions. Follow inspired action. So what I'm really getting from this at the beginning of the week is that what they want you to do is to be aware, to notice inspired actions, inspired creative ideas, inspired solutions. And don't hesitate for one moment to go for that and to follow through on that and be curious and see where it will lead you. Just be curious. Let your curiosity overwhelm you when you're inspired to do something, to try something out, okay? Um, and see where it takes you. And and don't be looking, don't look for something specific, a, a specific outcome because that end games. But, and, and then you can easily be disappointed. But, just, tr you know, try it and see what happens. Just see what happens. And note, and then note all of the, 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 the things that happened to you as a result of following that guidance. And just keep going in this way. Because what this does is it keeps you in the present moment. It's like you're practicing being uh, focused and centered in the present whether, ra rather than always being um, focused on the future, the outcome. Like you're always, you're never here. You're always, you know, in gaming everything. And then you skip over the opportunities in the present. That's why a lot of our things that we desire don't manifest because we are always thinking about the outcome and we forget the process that, that leads us there. And the outcome is not in some, some relationship to time as we would believe it. It really is to how centered we can be, how, how present we can be with the opportunities that are already there. You know, again, it's like that room, you're in this, in this dark room. When, you're e when your ego is active, the room is dark. You can't find light switch. And, there's a, and, and it's filled with all kinds of things that you just can't see. So you're walking through this dark, dark path and you see nothing and it feels like you're going for days and days and days and it feels like you're waiting for something to happen on and on and on but all along what it really was is that you weren't focused in, in a way that allowed you to light up the the area where you are so that you could perceive what opportunities are actually were there immediately okay so this is the time the opening of the week for you to really be having a, an awareness, be open to your intuition, be follow those inspired action steps. And let me just tune in and see if there's any additional uh, messages here. So they're telling me, they're showing me the tree again, and they, they showed me like a thin trunk, like, like, uh, like a thread. So what they're saying that there are abundant opportunities, but this inner criticism 
cuts you off, makes it so thin that you can't get any information through such a fine thread um, from your I am uh, consciousness. So, you know, don't get, there's a feeling like you, you are in gaming for the abundant opportunity. Like you're going like finances is your goal or, or your, the, 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 the things that you want and it, it cuts you off because you're, you're, you're not allowing the process to, to, that helps your spirit to grow and to appreciate and expand your appreciation, to expand your inner being's joy so that when you, when you are able to finally see the opportunity that was really within you all along to, to bring that opportunity to you immediately, that you have some sustainability with it, that, it, that, that you're not easily like disappointed or no longer interested after a short period of time. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. All right. And then we have some, we have some very interesting major arcana cards here. So we have the release card and this card is, is really, so here we are, you know, having this powerful week of gifts coming through, yet we're having to be mindful and and we're being asked to let go of things in the middle of the week so that those opportunities can come through. And so it, it seems like what we're having to do is let go of fears, let go of situations, let go of things that we struggle with, things that annoy us or frustrate us and we can't let go of them. All of those things are blocking, okay? Blocking the opportunities from coming, keeping you from being focused where you need to focus. But there's also this feeling of great joy when you realize, and I feel like at the middle of the week, you're going to realize that there's something that you just don't need to be bothered with any longer. That it's not going to do you any bit of good. And in the moment that you do, they're showing me a bow just growing right over the heart. You become so, you immediately are able to reap the rewards. You know, first in your heart, you're able to to feel this sensation of great love and expansion just enlarge within you as they're writing out. And it will create, they're writing easily. And, and they're saying that this is going to happen easily. So for those of you who feel like, oh my God, what does this mean? I'm gonna, it's going to happen because it, the this week, as you can see with these major arcana cards, and God's present. This was God's. It's been orchestrated. The, 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 the. What the event that happens is not God's doing. Okay, but the good outcome is God's doing. They walk you through sometimes the things that you chose. They have to walk you through the things that you have chosen. But they walk you through the path of least resistance. They find. A path for you that has as little of the confusion as that you have already created. They try to find a, a, a better way through that because you chose it. You you summoned it through how you were observing the contrast and the, and, and and your tendency in terms of how you're operating uh, or functioning in re uh, through your reactions to it. And what they can only do is try to get as much um, love through to you, as much um, peace through to you to help you to, 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 to sort of put in the mix to give you, help you to start choosing a little bit better until the little bit better becomes even better and the best, okay? Now you can, so so just to understand that, but there's going to be this, this um, big release here. All right, so let's take a look at the card for, because I'm really running out of time, um, for the end of the week. So what happens is this the Ten of Autumn, and it, the Ten of Autumn is about, you know, establishing a legacy, uh, a long-term legacy, and um, where, and especially with finances here. So there is something here that whatever we're releasing and whatever opportunities are available for us, this is something that's going to set you up for the long term. It's going to require some changes in your life purpose, some some re, uh, redirecting your 
um, your intention, redirecting your, your goals, but to fit the joy in your heart is what they just wrote. And, and as you do this, as you commit to this, they want you to know that this is going to sustain security for you in your finances, in you know the good things of coming to you in life that you want to achieve in a way that you feel more um, happy, okay, and satisfied in your life. All right, let's take a look at the card from the bottom of the deck. And we had this card, I, I believe, recently, but now this is from the bottom of the deck. So this is a card about, it says it's time to take action. So this card, this card is about new opportunities popping up for you. So in this week, what's going to be underlining all of this, which is what we kind of heard already, that new things are going to pop up for you. So, so be aware of inspiration. This card is definitely one of new beginnings, um, being inspired. So pay attention. Let the So what's going to happen here is inspiration is going to be the foundation of your week and see where it takes you, okay? the Because this is the number one ace card, this means there's infinite possibilities where you can now find solutions from situations you were involved in or, or you know, if you're looking like for a new objective or if you're looking for a new possibility, a new job opportunity, you're looking for a new outlook, okay? This week is going to present many, many opportunities for you to have that. And these are going to be some of the many forms of God's uh, gifts coming to you from heaven. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And thank you for your comments and your likes here on YouTube and on Facebook. If you haven't subscribed, please do to please do so. Thank you for sharing the videos. If you're looking for an angel reading, you can contact me at theangelschool.com, which you can find in the description link below, as well as um, and my office hours from Monday through Friday, uh, 12 to 6 p.m. And if you are haven't followed us on Facebook yet, the description link below to the Facebook page. You can uh, read the daily card messages from for Monday through Friday. I do them. So have a an awesome week. Uh, I wish you a very inspiring week. And I we pray that you whatever it is that you will be navigating through in order to let go and to welcome. We pray that you, the angels surround you and guide you and that you, they amplify your hearing to do so. So peace be with you and I'll see you next week.